Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about like a lot of the annoying shit I would say on like YouTube and pretty much on the internet, like Twitch and shit. And TV surprise, there's a lot too awful. Again, there's also good shit at the same time, but a lot of annoying and bad shit that I do want to talk about. But first thing is like annoying leechy channels are so fucking annoying the people are annoying as well um there aren't like a lot on this site but there are quite a bit at the same time it's not like it's hella bad but like it's just like they're definitely there um and pretty much like these type of leechy channels i'm talking about like pretty much the whole video they don't really provide a lot of content and they just pretty much, um, like, beg for subscribers, likes, views, and shit like that, the whole fucking video, and they don't really, like, have any point of the video besides begging, and it's just it's a really fucking shit video, and the content is pretty fucking, um, like, I wouldn't, like, say, like, fucking not there like there's obviously content but it's really dry unoriginal content and it just it's just like fucking them just begging for fucking likes and shit it just it's really dumb and um they don't like they don't really deliver any like content and like most of the time like i was saying through the whole video they're just begging for likes and shit and, um, another, like, and another thing is, like, they usually, um, how they get likes and subscribers is by, like, using bad fucking shitty clickbait. Um, I'm not saying, like, clickbait's a bad thing. Like, if you use it, like, use it. But, like, if you overuse it, it just gets really shitty. And that's what these channels do. Or, like, just, like, again, like I said, playing out to bag through the whole fucking video. Um, but yeah, no, like, and they do, like, fake little scummy, like, giveaways, like, oh, if you like, if you like the video, you get fucking thrown in this giveaway, and it's like, how about, that, that, it just doesn't work like that, and it's fucking just funny that some people actually fall for that shit sometimes, but, um, the type of channels are just fucking annoying and really bring nothing new to YouTube, and just, like, kind of just leech off of fucking YouTube the whole time, and they make, like, effortless content, like, it's not that hard to go beg for subs and shit, and they don't really make, like, new or, like, entertaining content, really, like, making content while you're begging for subs isn't really that entertaining, and pretty much, um, it's just shitty, fucking annoying content that kind of drags YouTube back, from making like from um new and good old content i don't know getting shown more on youtube i would say in the algorithm on how the algorithm works on youtube is kind of fucking weird but um it doesn't really affect it in like a huge fucking big ass way but like at the same time it just is kind of fucking annoying it's like why why are you just begging for fucking subs and I like, just make it effortless content. It's like, at least put effort on your content. And then maybe, I ask, I, I, I don't know. It just is kind of dumb because if you ask, like, no matter what, at the end of the day, it's up to the person. Like, a lot of these channels, you sometimes go on Apple channels and try and spam for, like, likes and subs. And that's when it gets kind of annoying when they go on Apple channels. Because it's like, dude, it's like, why are you going on Apple channels asking the person to subscribe to you or for, like, Apple people to you? It's just, it's kind of dumb. And, um, pretty much, um, it's 2020, so there's fucking more of just bullshit, um, uh, fucking, like, shit going on. Like, for example, on some platforms, they, like, favorite like a certain creator over other creators it's on pretty much every platform but like definitely with twitch for example with the linity i don't know like the whole linity thing's kind of fucking funny to be honest but like it's a good example but pretty much she was like 
breaking all these like fucking terms of service on uh, Twitch that people were getting permanently banned for, and she was getting away with it. People brought it to Twitch's attention, and then pretty much Twitch like was like, eh, okay, we're well, temporary banned, or but people were getting permanently banned for shit she was doing, or like shit similar to it, or shit that wasn't even that bad close to what she was doing. And it just is kind of, like, dumb, but a good example of, like, kind of platforms favoriting people. And it's kind of dumb when platforms do end up doing that. And, um, pretty much she did have, like, dumb shit that a lot of people know about. If you just look into it on the internet, like, for, like, maybe 10 minutes, you could figure out everything she's kind of done. And, yeah, she's just kind of a shitty person, but, again, Twitch always favorites, um, whole... And people don't even do shit as bad as well, but get permanently banned off the platform, which is kind of, like, fucking dumb, but... I don't know how shit is, and I guess it's kind of funny. But, um, pretty much, like, it's, like, it's dumb for a site to favor people. Because, like, at the end of the day, it's, like, it should favor everyone. And not just one fucking person. And it seems like with the whole Lenity person, they were doing it. And she was like a pretty toxic person on the site. And it just, I don't know, it leaves the pla- like, it leaves it with the whole platform pretty unfucking fail for everyone. You're just favoriting one person or a small group. Um, another fucking thing that's fucking annoying is like people who just cause like drama for like monetary gain. Or just to fucking, like, because we're too fucking bellhold about what someone said on the internet. At the end of the day, what people say on the internet, it's like, it's fucking internet, move on. And it's just it's fucking funny, though, just so much fucking drama. People get so fucking bellhold over dumb shit. And it's usually to make money or get views, or it's like, legit that they'll fucking bellhold. And it's just it's fucking funny. It's fucking dumb at the same time and fucking annoying. It's like, I don't give a fuck that someone's mad because someone's talking shit or, like, this happened. It's like, those actual, like, bad sh- like, sometimes bad shit that happens with some people's channels get deleted for no reason or shit like that, which is, like, understanding to, like, have that get, um, talked about. But, like, when those drama between, like, two YouTubers or two groups of YouTubers is kind of fucking dumb. It's like, okay, cool. They'll just try and get views or they'll just try and get fucking more, like, more money or they'll just fucking, I don't know, I guess they'll buy whole motherfuckers and it's just funny and, and like fucking kind of annoying like I was saying, but um, kind of makes the platform fucking unfun for everyone because then Everyone's focused on fucking these two dumb assholes fighting and kind of like in reality it's like shit on my own it doesn't really fucking matter at the end of the day and people kind of don't really realize that I guess. But that's just some annoying shit um, on the internet but I hope you guys um, did enjoy this uh, video. If it does do like kind of good and I might make another one kind of like this but I hope you enjoyed but yeah, um, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.